Alright, well a lot of you seem to like my video giving Bond evolutions to the rest of the Digimon Adventure cast. And a lot of you watched to the end of that video where I said I was going to give the Zero Two Digimon their own Bond forms too. And some of you didn't, and asked before finishing the video where the Bonds for Zero Two were. Well, we're doing them today, okay? Yes, with Digimon Con in February and potentially a release date for Digimon Adventure Zero Two the beginning coming up, now feels like a great time to give those Digimon Adventure Zero Two Digimon their own Bond evolution forms. God, I hope the new Zero Two movie doesn't just use Bonds again. What is up, Holiday Companions? My name is Khan EX, not X, and welcome back to Khan's 12 videos of Christmas, except it's not Christmas anymore, and it's like 13 videos. Shut up. And if it's not welcome back, you've gone through this whole holiday season watching the videos, but you haven't subscribed? That's my gift. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, please, actually helps hugely, thanks! And yesterday we're giving Bond evolutions to those Zero Two Digimon partners. As a quick reminder, based on Agumon Bond of Courage, or Bravery for some reason, and Gabumon Bond of Friendship, we have some criteria. We want the form to be chiefly based on the rookie, so for example Agumon for Agubond, but with the rest of its show-related evolutions at the forefront. So in Agubond you can see Greymon, but also a little bit of War Greymon. Gabubond has quite a lot more Metal Garurumon, but some where Garurumon elements, etc. The Zero Two kids are also a little bit different to the Adventure kids. Besides TK and Kari, whose bonds are on screen right now that we did last time, as they all have access to Armor Digivolution. So we're gonna fold that into it more too, like we did with TK and Kari in the last video. In addition to that, well, frankly, we're just looking for creepy, tall, humanoid, JoJo stand looking mega level Digimon that feel close to, but distinct from the biomages we saw in Tamers. And my important little stickler is those LED ish lights that Agubond and Gabby. Bond have and maybe some kind of like scarf or trail or something, you know? And we begin with Armadillamon, Cody's partner of course, who uses the Digi Egg of Knowledge and Reliability. He also has his champion form Ankylamon and the DNA Digivolution Shakuamon. But we decided to not factor in the DNA Digivolutions for this video as they are a combination of two Digimon, and more so represent the bond between two Tamers than Bond Evolutions which represent the bond between a Digimon and their Tamer. Pyeldramon, Shakuamon, Sylphimon are all triggered by Ken and Davis, TK and Cody and Kari and Yoli having their own bond. Whereas we wanted to focus more on the bond between a Digimon and its tamer, so that's why we're removing DNA Digivolution from the equation for this. All that to say, here is Armor Dillamon Bond of Trust, drawn by some guy 944 So I actually want to give a huge shout out to at Daniel the Ninja Man, who left a comment on the last Bonds video, suggesting that perhaps the names for all of these Digimon should draw from the fact that most of the Digidestin and Zero Two have at least two Armor Digi Eggs or more that they can act access, so when that is the case, we're going to try and merge the names, and that is why we went with Armadillamon Bond of Trust. I went with Trust because I think it kind of represents Cody, someone who is knowledgeable and reliable, or sincere in the JP, is someone that you can trust. Knowledgeable people are generally regarded as more trustworthy, and using your knowledge reliably is a way to convey to someone that you can be trusted. So Armadillamon Bond of Trust is super interesting to me. This super humanoid Armadillamon slash Ankylamon form feels suitably weird and alien, just like Agubond and Gabubond. Particularly fond of the arms that are white and therefore more similar to Submarimon, but topped off with the very clear Digmon pieces. We wanted to keep the armor influence present in these designs, but light, and I think some guy 944 pulled it off excellently. Then moving over to Yoli, it's Hawkmon's turn to get a bond. Powered up with Yoli's love and sincerity, or purity, Hawkmon becomes Hawkmon Bond of Caring, drawn by HLR Art. Combining love and sincerity into a virtue or ideal that is somehow elevated from the two of them was very difficult. I went with the term caring because I think there is a difference between kind of like love, romantic love, and demonstrating that love by caring for someone. Whether you're caring for a partner, caring for a child, caring for an older or sickly relative, that is like another level of love in my eyes, beyond just kind of like the more vapid love you might see. It also can be quite a sincere act, someone quite pure would need to be a carer, but also sincerity is tied to plants and grass and stuff and you need to care for your garden, right? Shut up. Listen, if you've got other suggestions for these names, let me know in the comments down below. But this form feels really good for Hawkmon and Akilamon, who are both very specific tied to Garudamon outside of Zero Two Media, but of course is a Biomon evolution in Adventure 
canon. So it was a big task for HLR to create something that felt unique and fresh, but also kind of familiar, and I think he created a phenomenal humanoid bird mega here. A paired back digi egg of love making up the helmet is a really nice touch, tying back to Halsamon, and you may notice those green kunai sprouting off from the wings, sending out a bunch of blades, which harks back to Shurimon. It gives a whole new form for the Hawkmon family, while still feeling very much like a member of it. And hey paisanos, Future Khan is here because something interesting has arrived to the set. Can you spot what it is? Where is it? Is here! Yes, I finally own one of the Japanese Digimental sets from Zero Two and it's Hawkmon! And I got it with today's sponsor, Baiyi. Baiyi is a proxy service getting you access to goods from Japan. From websites like Makari, Rakuten, Yahoo Japan Auctions and Shopping, Amazon JP, and much, much more. I got this little fella through Baiyi and it was super simple. Made my purchase. I did search in Japanese because it was just a little bit easier to find it that way. You will find sometimes if you search for the product in Japanese, use Google Translate, get the product name of Wikimon, whatever it may be. And there it was, added it to my cart, checked out, waited a few days for it to come to a warehouse at Baiyi, then sorted out shipping to my location and within a couple of days, Pokemon, where is your feather? Sports mode. Digiama Energize! I had Hawkmon! And if you want to get yourself some cool Digimon merch, when you sign up with my link in the description and make a Baiyi account, they will give you 2,000 yen off your first purchase of any item across any of the sites they support. Which includes using their browser extension, which lets you shop on websites like Amazon JP, add stuff to your Baiyi cart, and then check out. Maybe you got yourself some Christmas or holiday money, or just want to get yourself a little treat before 2023 starts. If you're a Digimon fan, there's some really cool stuff on Baiyi. So thank you to Baiyi for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to the custom art. Okay, so we took care of Patamon and Gatamon last time, and they are also again on screen here in case you need another reminder. The last time we also gave bond forms to Morphomon and Mekumon. So uh, yeah, Willis gets included in this video. Let's go, Willis lovers. But Willis is interesting, isn't he? He's kind of the inverse to our Zero Two Digi Destin so far. One kid with two Digimon, but only ever shown to use one golden armor Digi Egg. So that means that first of all, Terriamon will bond evolve to become Terriamon Bond of Destiny. Destiny drawn by Soru. And oh yes, Soru, look at this butte. The most humanoid member of the Terriamon line to date. Even probably more so than Mega Gargamon. But you can fully see the Rapidmon influence in here too, alongside that Terriamon aesthetic, with a coloration somewhere between Rapidmon and Rapidmon Gold, which of course makes sense. I think Soru added just the right amount of gold into the design to tie into the Digi Egg of Destiny, but without making it feel too much like a golden armor Digivolution. The green throughout, including those really nice green LEDs. LEDs, strip it back slightly and make it feel much more like a bond and less like Rapidmon Gold. Also very fond of the Agubond-esque trailing scarf thing coming out the back. That is just beautiful. So now you're wondering about Lopmon, right? And yes, of course, Lopmon will get a bond form drawn by some guy 944 who I have christened, agreeing with Soru and others, Lopmon Bond of Fate. We did consider some other names for this, particularly suggestions from the artist, some guy 944 like Bond of Darkness, Sorrow, Corruption, etc. But I just felt fate worked nicely as a counterpart to Terriamon's destiny. Firstly, because we kind of get to combine a dubism and a JP name, the Digi Egg of Destiny is the Golden Armor Digi Egg's dub name, and Fate is its JP name, but also because I personally feel like Fate and Destiny are two ostensible synonyms, but yet their connotations are very different. A Dark Fate is a very common term, it's even the name of an erstwhile Terminator movie, but Dark Destiny feels like less of a common term and feels a little bit weird in the mouth. Destiny, in my opinion, has more connotations of a good thing, Destiny feeling more like the noble, desirable side of Fate. Whereas fate is inevitable, destiny feels purposeful. And with Lotmon tied to the darkness in Hurricane Touchdown and never Golden Armor Digivolving on screen, fate just felt right. And that dark fate is reflected in the design, taking a lot of cues from Wendigomon in particular, but still with Lotmon feeling in there, perhaps covered with the darkness it uses now as its power. But I don't see this bond form as evil or corrupted, but more similar to Mekumon Bond of Darkness, or even Koichi in Frontier using darkness as a weapon to 
Combat Darkness. Again, like my boy Riku Kingdom Hearts shoutouts. Lopmon Bond of Fate also has a cracked holy ring on its leg. This references the Golden Armor Digi Egg, but also the holy rings of Cherubimon Virtue. As divided as fans and myself are on Bond Evolutions, the idea of Terriamon Bond of Destiny and Lopmon Bond of Fate fighting together side by side is just the stuff that makes my little fanfic brain go wild. And so that brings us to the last two boys, Ken and Davis. And our penultimate form goes to Wormon. Wormon is actually much more straightforward. Ken is only ever demonstrated to possess the one crest. With his crest creating the Digi Egg of Miracles and the only tie to Wormon being Kongomon, a Digi Egg of Destiny evolution, which isn't actually in any major Zero Two media. And while we never saw Buchimon in Zero Two, we will use it somewhat to inform the form here, alongside Wormon and Stingmon, which gives us Wormon Bond of Kindness drawn by All Trade. All Trade was also influenced by some other non-Zero Two, but very connected to Wormon forms for this, chiefly Jewel Beamon, the aforementioned Kongomon, and of course Bancho Stingmon, which helped cement some of the design elements without being mandatory references. So you can see them in the design, but if you don't want to include them as part of Zero Two canon, they don't have to be like at the forefront, you know. The Pink Wings of course tie to the Digi Egg of Kindness, but there are so many smatterings of Wormon Mon and Stingmon's evolution branches within the design too. The red scarf is partially inspired by Bancho Stingmon, but I think also connects to Ryo and his Justimon, who of course were a big part, or at least Ryo was, of young Ken's life, and overall continues Justimon and Stingmon's Kamen Rider references, this time more specifically All Trade pulled from Kamen Rider Ichigo, or Kamen Rider the First. All Trade said he also wanted to draw particular attention to the Wormon legs which are wrapping around the body, and the fact the LEDs are pink due to the crest and of course Egg of Kindness being pink. Also, if you look into there, you can see some of Kongomon's necklace and gold coloration just to finish off the design. And finally, that brings us to the big boy, the final Bond evolution of this video, Davis's partner, Vimon, who, with the combined friendship and courage of Davis, plus a little bit of miraculous evolution, becomes Vimon, Bond of Leadership, drawn by Weirdomon. Again, some interesting virtues or ideals to throw together with courage, leadership, and miracles at play here. Of course, all prominent Armadage evolutions for Vimon in Zero Two and the Hurricane Touchdown movie, but sort of like mythical, mythological leaders are often seen to perform miracles or be tied to miraculous events. Then courage and friendship would both make for a good leader and embodies the leadership roles within the adventure canon, with Ty and Matt vying at different points throughout the franchise to be group leader, and Davis, their shared successor, becoming the leader of the Zero Two Digidestined. Vimon Bond of Leadership is a tremendously powerful Bond evolution, so connected to its two main digi eggs that it manifests the heads of Flamedramon and Raydramon as fighting spirits. Stands for a stand, if you will. <laughs> One step up from the blazing back pieces of Agu Bond, this Digimon is clad in golden pauldrons, stemming from the digi egg of miracles, and with design elements from Vimon and X Vimon, but also definitely some All Force Vidramon sprinkled in too. This is the leader of these Zero Two Bond evolutions. Just picturing the kind of intense battles this guy could partake in is insane. And imagine all of the Bond evolutions seen in this video joining forces too. Wow, look at them. Absolutely love them. Let me know your favourite and maybe suggest some new names for the combined merge Bond names in the comments below. But of course, be respectful. No one is objectively right about made up stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the Bond Evolutions. I think everyone absolutely knocked it out of the park. So let me know how well they did in the comments below. Again, being respectful. Huge shout out to my sovereigns, ZDK14 and Jmon, as well as all the names you can see on screen right now for supporting this channel with their hard earned money. It has been a tremendous year and I think we've got like one more video to go. So I will see you next time when we go digital. Bye bye.